Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to do an interior angles of polygons summary for all the different uh, ones. So this, don't take this as a full lesson. I would still watch another one after this unless you watch one before if you have the time to do so. Because uh, this is just going to be a quick lesson. This is probably going to be under 10 minutes just to kind of do a nice review, a nice summary of the interior angles to get it into our brain just a little bit more is the idea here. So Let's start with the first shape, which is a triangle. There are three sides of a triangle. And in a triangle, there is just one triangle, right? And then in terms of the sum of interior angles, it would be n minus 2. So 3 minus 2 would go here. So 1 times 180 is 180 degrees. So the sum of the interior angles of our triangle it's going to be 180 degrees. Okay. Awesome. Now, if we have a quadrilateral, which is a four sided shape, like a square or a rectangle, a rhombus, a kite, parallelogram, or any other four sided shape, it has two triangles, right? We can split this into two triangles like that. Uh, and so therefore, the sum of the interior angles is going to be 2 times 180, which is going to be 360. So the sum of the interior angles here is 360. Good. And if we think about it, there's two triangles. So this is going to be 180, and this is going to be another 180 which makes 360. So that's why, right? Last time we talked about, oh, it's n minus 2. We didn't really talk about why, but here is why. Here is why. Next, let's do a pentagon. A pentagon is a five-sided shape, and a pentagon has three triangles. Actually, let's do that a little bit nicer. Let's use the straight line tool that gives us good straight lines instead of bent ones. There we go. So here we have three triangles. And so we have three 180s. So that's going to be 180 times 3, which is going to be 540 degrees for all these interior angles. Good. Now, what about a hexagon? Well, a hexagon is a six-sided polygon. Almost said polynomial. No, polygon, not polynomial. And how many triangles are here? Well, I'm guessing... Uh, I'm guessing we might know it's four, just kind of from this pattern, but let's actually show why it's four. One, two, three, four. There we go, just like that. So we have 180 times four, right? 180, 180, 180, and 180. So what is 180 times four? And a hint, it's also the same as 360 times 2, right? So it's going to be 720 degrees in all. Awesome. <clears throat> now let's do the heptagon. That is a seven-sided shape, and it has five triangles. And let's show why it has five triangles, other than that that kind of fits the pattern we've been doing, where it seems like everything has two less triangles than the number of sides. There we go. <clears throat> so each of these triangles is 180, 180, 180, 180, and 180. So that's 5 times 180, which is going to be 900. 900. So 900 degrees is the sum of all the interior angles of this polygon. All right, and last but not least for today, let's do the octagon, which is an eight-sided polygon. And the eight-sided polygon is going to have six triangles, right? So let's draw them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's a bent line. Didn't quite give me a straight one. That is okay. Let's try again. There we go. Nice straight line there. And then we have 180, 180, oh. 180, 180, 180, and 180. And looks like I lost the line along the way there. 
that's okay. Let's give it back. There we go. And this is also 180. Excellent. <clears throat> so this time we have 6 times 180, which is 1,080. Very good. All right, so what's the conclusion? The sum of the interior angles of the polygon with n sides is what? Well, we already know this. It's going to be n minus 2 times 180 degrees is going to be that sum. Or in other words, the number of triangles, the number of triangles times 180, right, based on the pretense that 180, 180 is the number of degrees in one triangle. So if there's two, it would be two times 180. If there's three, it'd be three times 180, and so on and so forth, right? So we can clearly see this pattern here when it's laid out this way. And, and I know this is kind of a little extra, but I wanted to, this is why I wanted to do this kind of extra step here to uh to show this because i think it's it's interesting when we kind of lay it out like this but anyway that was our short mini lesson for today good work today and i will see you guys next day bye everyone